Hi guys, my name is Annie Thorstadter and I am very happy to be giving you guys a workout and leading you through a class and being a part of United in Movements. We are going to go through kind of a full class, but it's only gonna be about half an hour. We're still gonna do a warm up. We're gonna do a little bit of strength piece. No, you do not need equipment for this. You're still gonna get a really good pump out of it. And then we're gonna finish off with some tabatas that we're gonna do together. I think it's really important now with people being stuck at home, you may not be going to the gym and doing your classes anymore. It's still super important to continue doing proper warm up, getting ready for the workout so you get the most out of the workout that you're gonna be doing. Moving still properly, even though you don't necessarily have eyes on you, you wanna imagine that you do and you wanna try to get the most out of what you're doing. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit of emphasis on those things while leading you guys through this class. The strength piece that we have today, we're gonna do some tempo lunges, or for those who wanna make it a little bit more challenging, they can make it into a Bulgarian split squat. So before we start that, we're gonna loosen up the hips and the knees a little bit. So we're just gonna start with a hip flow. We're gonna put left foot in the front. We're gonna try to have the heel uh, underneath the knee, or make sure that the heel is in the ground. And then we're just gonna do small circles with our hips. If you find that you have a uh, pretty tight corner, then you can stop, hang around there a little bit, and then continue moving around. Now, we're gonna move, so we're still gonna have the left foot in the front. We're gonna go up on the toe, and we're gonna rotate in, get the knee in line with the toe, try to have the heel down. If you cannot, because of mobility issues, then you just raise your hips up a little bit, and you hold that position here, you try to move around a little, get deeper and deeper. Have the toes up on the other foot so they're not stuck in the ground. Lift it up, we're just trying to open up that squat, the deep squat position. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go up on the toe again and we're gonna rotate around all the way around here. Now we're gonna get a good stretch up the side, try to relax the hips down to the ground. In this position, hold in. In this position, we're still having the knee tracking the toes on the left leg. The other leg is just lying relaxed on the ground. And nice deep breaths, trying to sink deeper and deeper into it. Five, two, one. And now we get to change legs. Put the right leg in the front. It's gonna do exactly the same thing. Small circles with the hips making sure that the heel is in the ground. I'm talking about we're not gonna be in this position, getting the leg far enough in the front. We're always trying to mimic that squat or mimic that lunge. Think about what it is that you're gonna do later on so you're gonna get the most out of this hip flow and warm up. If you find a specifically tight corner, Stop there, go a little bit front and back around there, and then move around again. We're not gonna keep the knee on the ground, we're gonna be in an active position. And the warm up, we wanna keep it active stretches. And now we're gonna go up on the toe, we're gonna rotate to the left, so rotate in. Keep the toes up on the left foot, making sure that the knee is tracking the right foot and getting into that deep squat position. Keep your hands on the ground if you have to. You can take some of the weight off, get your hips up if you have to. We're gonna try to stay away from being up on our toes, 
Getting that heel on the right leg down to the ground. For the superstars out there, what you could do from here is get those hips down and up again. It's a little bit going into relax and into activation. You do not have to do that. You can just hang out here as well. And go in three, two, one. We're gonna go up on the toes on the right leg and rotate around all the way through. So half a circle through, relaxed back leg, knees tracking the toes on the right leg, letting those hips sink down towards the ground, getting a good stretch up the side on the left side. Deep breaths, this is the most comfortable one I think. I'm not gonna just put my hips down and relax down here. I'm gonna keep the hips up but let them sink as deep into the stretch as I possibly can without pain. It can be a little bit uncomfortable, but everything pain free. Two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna go into the lunge. We're still gonna stay on the ground. I'm gonna get the toes on the ground on the right leg. Left leg in the front. I'm gonna make that nine degree angle. If you have something that you can put underneath the knee on the back foot, you can do so here. We're just gonna open up the hips for the lunges. We're gonna reach up, actively moving through, mimicking that bottom position on the lunge. Now from here, I'm gonna move my foot around, going into different corners, taking the left foot to the left and then to the right. So taking it on the outside and on the inside about 10 times through and then we're gonna change to the other side. We're gonna do exactly the same thing there. Make sure we're not hyperextending. We're gonna tuck those hips in, moving through. Squeeze the glutes a little bit so you get a better stretch on the front of the hip. And then move the front leg around a little. And relax. Now we're gonna stand up. We're gonna start doing lunges. So we're gonna get into the lunges. We're just gonna do five on each leg. These are gonna be nice and controlled. I'm gonna step forward with the left leg, step down. I'm gonna think pressing up with the front leg and step back. I'm just gonna do five reps here. Finding a good rhythm and thinking about pressing through the front leg and change sides. Five on the other side. This is just a free tempo. Finishing warming up the movement. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna talk you through the strength piece. So the strength piece is gonna be three sets. We're gonna be going every three minutes. The set is gonna be eight reps. It's gonna be a tempo, two seconds down, two seconds up. So I'm gonna count you through it. We're gonna go one, two, three, one. That's gonna be one rep. We're not gonna pause for long on top. We're not gonna pause on the bottom. We're gonna try to stay under tension with the same foot in front the whole way through. We're gonna do eight reps. After the eight reps, we're gonna go down to the bottom again, and we're gonna pause with the knee just slightly from the ground. We're gonna hold for eight seconds. When you're done with that, you're gonna go immediately into eight free tempo. That's one set. Then we're gonna change legs. We're gonna do the other on the other leg. When we're done with that, we're gonna go into a plank position. You're gonna hold plank position, position anywhere from 20 to 40 seconds. Have about 15 or 20 seconds until we start the next set. All right, so this is gonna get really spicy on the legs. 
You can choose if you want to. Do normal lunges, non-weighted. They are going to be hard like that. If you want to do Bulgarian split squats, you elevate the back leg and you do exactly the same thing whoo, with the back leg elevated. One, two, three, one. Eight reps through, stopping in the bottom, so you're gonna follow through. If you wanna make it even more challenging and you have weight, you can grab dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you want to and hold it. If you have it in only one hand, then I recommend if you're gonna do it on the left leg first, hold the weight with your right hand. And then when you do it with a right leg in the front, hold the weight in your left hand. It's gonna keep you a little bit more, your hips a little bit more straight. If you have two, you can do it with two. You're most likely <laughs> then gonna wanna drop the weight, hold on to the weight for the uh, tempo reps, but then you can drop it before you do the free tempo, all right? I'm gonna talk you guys through this whole thing. You do not have to remember it. We're gonna be going every three minutes, three times through. All right, starting with the tempo. All right, we're gonna be starting in five. Put the right leg in the front. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, Two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six. Make sure you're pressing through that front leg. Seven, keep the chest tall. And eight, and we're gonna go down and hold. Eight seconds, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight into free tempo. Finish off eight reps. And change. Let's get ready. I'm gonna let you guys finish if you're finishing off your eighth. Two, one, and go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Make sure you're not using that back leg or use it as little as possible. Think about pressing and driving through that front leg. It's supposed to burn. It's supposed to be hard. Two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight. And let's go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. Free tempo. Keeping that chest tall. Driving through that front leg. Finish off those eight reps. Once you're done, get into a plank position. I'm gonna do it with my hands elevated. Think about sucking that belly button in. Squeeze the glutes. Hold body straight. Nice and deep breaths. This is your rest. Hold in. If you need to go to your knees, go to your knees. Hold the plank just a little bit longer. And relax, stand up, shake it up. 10 seconds and we're going again. We're already done with one set, only two more to go. Right leg in the front, two, one, and go. Nice and controlled, one. Two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, 
two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, and eight, and straight down and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and straight into eight, free tempo. Once you're done, shake it off, change legs. We're going in three, two, one, and go. Two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Don't cheat that range. Go all the way down to the ground. Do not stop on top. Go straight into the next one. Three, Five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, and straight down and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pump it out. Eight reps. Continue hitting that range, driving through that front leg, keeping that chest tall. We don't wanna start pushing those hips up and opening up on top. We wanna keep ourselves under tension. Finish up the eight reps, get straight into the plank position and hold it. Think about body strain, nice and deep breaths. We still have 30 seconds till we start the last one. It's only one more round to go. Focus on nice and deep breaths. You're gonna hold it just a little bit longer in that plank. And stand up. Let's get ready for that final set. Let it burn. Put the right leg in the front. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. Here we go. Make them all count. Make it hurt. Get the most out of it. Last one and down and hold one two three four five do not put your hands on your knee and stand and pump out those eight reps keeping that chest tall we're almost there guys and when you're done changing legs Last time on this side. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. Don't speed it up. Follow my count. Five. Three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight. Straight down and hold. I don't know, there's something about this. I love that burn feeling. I get like irritated and I want to start laughing. <laughs> and go. Finish off those eight reps. Drive through the front leg, keep the chest tall. Once you're done with those eight reps, get straight into the plank. This is the final plank that you're doing. Final plank, you're, get, you're gonna get a break after this. Suck in the belly button, squeeze those glutes, hollow. Press up through your 
arms and shoulders. Try to stay on your toes if you feel like you're losing position, hips going up or hips going down, then rather go on your knees and just hold it. We're gonna finish all the way through those three minutes. 15 seconds, here we go. All the way, stay tight, stay composed, deep breaths. And five, three, two, one, and relax. All right, shake it off. Now we're done with the strength part of this session. Usually, I actually do this quite often. When I'm doing this, I usually do it with a weight and I usually do a Bulgarian split squat. It's such a nice little burn that you can get. It's irritatingly hard. And every time, Frederick loves tempo. Every time we're doing tempo, I, I like moving fast. <laughs> he likes moving nice and controlled. So it's a very good mix for me to be able to do that tempo, static hold, and then I get to go at my own pace however fast I want to go throughout. Hope you enjoyed this part. Now, we are gonna be doing some Tabatas. While you're recovering a little bit, I'm gonna talk you through what we're gonna be doing. I will not be doing the Tabatas with you. I'm gonna have Frederick do the Tabatas. I'm gonna talk you through them. I am not just getting big from isolation and eating burritos. <laughs> I am pregnant, so I have a hard time with some of the movements that we're gonna be doing in the Tibeta, and I wanna make sure that you guys see them done properly. That's why I'm gonna bring Frederick in here, and we're gonna do that. Throughout these Tibetas, we're gonna have two movements in each. We're gonna superset them, so we're gonna start up with jump squats and push-ups. Jump squats for 20 seconds, 10 second rest. Then we're gonna do push-ups for 20 seconds, 10 second rest. Four rounds through or eight intervals. Then you're gonna get a one minute break and we're gonna go into to battle number two. To battle number two, we're gonna do gorilla squats. Gorilla squats, you're just gonna keep your fists on the ground, hips are gonna go down and you're just gonna pump it out with your legs. Try to use your hands as little as possible and get the pump through the legs. That's gonna be super set with plank tuck jumps. Plank tuck jumps, you're gonna jump back with both feet, and you're gonna jump forward with both feet. So it's gonna be like um, mountain climbers, except for with the legs moving at the same time. We're gonna do that eight times, or four rounds of that. You're gonna get a one minute break, and then we're gonna finish up with some core. We're gonna do uh, tuck ups, and we're gonna do hollow rocks. 20 on, 10 off. So it's four minutes of each of these, one minute break in between. All right, let's get ready. Put a mat on the ground if you have to. Woo! Now we're gonna get to sweat a little. This is my favorite part every time I get to work out. All right guys, starting up with squat jumps. You do not have to jump high from the ground. Just let those feet leave the ground for a little while and then you're gonna go into the push-ups on the next one. Ready? Ready? Welcome to tomorrow. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, go! Squat jumps. Make sure you're hitting that back, opening up a little bit on top, making sure that you're hitting that extension, and feet are leaving the ground. Almost there. Time. Shake it off. Get ready for push-ups. Ready for the push-ups. Three, two, one, go. Make sure the body is straight throughout the movement. If you have to, rather go on to your knees than stopping. It's gonna be hard on your knees as well. Almost there, five seconds. One time. And stand up. Let's get ready. Already one round in. Three, two, one, go. 
jump squats. Keep that chest tall. Think about your breathing right now. Focus on that strong exhale. I know you're gonna remember to breathe in. Focus on a strong exhale. Here we go, five seconds, almost there. Three, two, one, and stop. Already halfway through the jump squats. Let's get into the plank position. Ready for your push-ups. Three, go. Make sure you're hitting that same standard chest all the way down, locking out on top. Nice work, Frederick. Good job, guys at home. 10 seconds, here we go. Keep it up, keep it up. Five seconds. Two, one, time. We're halfway through. Halfway through, here we go. You got this. Three, two, one, go. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Do not lose the rep count now. Try to hit the same number as you did before. This is the second last time on those jump squats. Five seconds. Here we go. All the way through. Time. Nice and deep breaths. Get ready for those push ups. Three, two, one, go. Good job. Here we go, guys. Go down on those knees if you have to. Do not stop. You got this. Get the same as you had before. Five seconds. One time. Last round. Last round. Here we go. It's supposed to hurt. If it's not hurting, you're not going fast enough. Go. Last round. 20 seconds. We can all do this for 20 seconds. Deep breaths, nice and controlled. Now it's just a mind game. Already halfway through here. You got this, five seconds. Three, two, two, one, stop. time. Round eight. Last, Last one. one. Here we go. Push up position. Five, Let's four, get ready. Three, three two, one, go. go. Hitting that standard, locking out, keep that body straight. 45 seconds in. Good job. Strong exhale. We're almost there. Five. Three, two, one, time. Good job, guys. One minute break. One minute break. Nice work. <laughs> I know, those jump squats hurt. <laughs> I did a Tabata, just a squat jump, uh, squat draw at Tabata. That one is gold. It's so good. Really nice little leg burn. All right, we have 30 seconds. The next one we're gonna be doing is gonna be the gorilla squats I showed, and then the plank tuck jumps. Those, exactly. Think about in those uh, plank tuck jumps, make sure that you're jumping far enough back. I don't want it to be just like moving your feet this distance. I want you to move your feet all the way through. All right, so we're going. Here we go. Here we go with five. Four, three, two, one, go. Gorilla squats. Keep weight on your legs. Don't let your upper body take the whole weight off. Pump it out. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. I think it's a great song. <laughs> Ready for the plank jumps. Two, one, go. Move those legs long distance all the way back. Get those knees forward. Nice work, Frederick. Here we go. More than halfway. Five seconds. Two times. Good job. Good job. Think about it as rounds. We're already done with the first round. Three more. Two, one, go. Gorilla squats. 
Make sure to keep the whole foot on the ground. Don't rest on top. Keep that butt moving throughout. Good job. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, man. Here we go. Three. Go. Jumping out, hitting full extension on the back. Keep the legs moving. Weight on the shoulders. Good job. Almost there. Three and time. Nice work. Halfway. Halfway. Two, one, go. Gorilla squat. Don't drop down in reps. Try to hit the same reps as you did before. You got this. You're almost there. Good job. No resting on top. Keep yourself under tension. Two, one, time. Nice. Nice deep breaths. Ready for those jumps. Two, go. Good job. Hit all the distance in every single jump. You need to keep yourself accountable. You're the one that's doing this. You're the one getting the benefit out of this. Three seconds. Time. Nice work. One more round. We're almost there. Last round. Here we go. Go. Gorilla squad. Good job. Nice. If you don't have the flexibility, you're up on your knuckles, you have a little bit underneath. You want to make sure to keep those hips moving. Time. Nice work. Here we go. Last one and you get a break. Last one. Three, two, one, go. Jump forward, jump back. There's no stopping. It's 20 seconds, you guys. We're not going to stop. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. All the way through. Five, four, time. Good job. Good job. Shake it off. One minute break. One minute break. Final one we got is going to be some core work. We're going to be doing tuck ups and hollow rocks. Tuck ups, knees bent. You're going to be going up into that tuck position like Frederick is doing now. And then the other one is going to be the hollow rocks. Scaling up the hollow rocks, I, I want to make sure that your lower back is staying connected to the ground. Nothing should be able to come in between your lower back and the floor. Scaling is just getting those feet a little bit higher up and arms in front. You can even bend the knees if you have to and roll through there. All right, that's gonna be the scaling option. We're gonna be going in about 10 seconds. This is the final one you have. You're done after this. Welcome to Tabata. Here we go with five, four, three, two, one, and go. go. Hack up. 20 seconds. Good job. Making sure you're hitting the center all the way throughout. Strong. Three, two, one, time. Good job. 10 second break. Yes, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hollow rocks. Keep that lower back connected to the ground. Roll through, roll through. Good job. Bend the knees if you have to. Get those arms in the front if you have to. Almost there. Three, two, one, stop. Time. Good job. Already one round down. Three to go. And go. Hack up. Good 
Good job. Nice work. If you feel like you cannot move anymore, then stop moving upper body and just move your legs up and down. Almost there, almost there. Time. Nice work, nice work. <laughs> Three, two, two, one, go. go. Roll. Nice work. Make sure you're doing this well. Rather go into that tuck position and roll throughout. I don't want the clunking on the ground. We want to continue moving for the full 20 seconds. And time. Nice work, guys. Here we go. Halfway, halfway. Can you show the skills for the tuck ups? Just move the legs. And go. Scaling of the tuck ups. Just moving the legs. You can open up fully if you want to. That might be too hard. If that's too hard, then just move. <laughs> Five seconds. We're almost there. Almost there. Continue moving throughout. And stop. There's only one of the tacos left. Next one, hollow rocks, hollow rocks. If you have to stop, rather go into the tuck and go. Roll through. Try to work throughout the whole 20 seconds. Nice work. 10 seconds, we're almost there. Good job, good job. Rolling throughout. Three, two, one, time. Last one, tuck up, last one. Here we go, guys. You're almost done. Go. Good job. This is the last time on the tuck up. Here we go. Halfway. Almost there, almost there. Don't stop, do not stop. You got this. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. So good. Let's finish strong. Rather go into the tuck and just Three, roll through. Two, one, and go. go. 20 seconds and you're done. Give yourself accountable. You got this. I know you got this. Do whatever scaling you have to do, but continue moving. Here we go. Five seconds. Almost there. Nice work, guys. <laughs> I think I may have killed Frederick. <laughs> All right. Thank you to everyone that did this class. I am so happy to be a part of this project and this mission. I feel like I just want to do something to try to help. And there's only a limited amount of things that each and every one of us can do, but think about what it is that you can do that might be able to help. And I'm hoping that me giving you some workouts, some guidance, I feel like that helps me mentally and physically. So hopefully I can give a little bit and spread a little bit of joy and endorphins through that. So good job to everyone that did this at home. And thank you for tuning in. And I'm going to see a lot more of you guys throughout this.